Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Sorry it's been so long. I say this almost every time, but I do apologize. So if you haven't subscribed already, you should definitely subscribe. We've got some cool videos coming up and I think you're gonna really enjoy them. So today we're gonna check out a microphone that was sent to me by Zingyu. So a while back, I think it's been like maybe a year or so, I did a review on the, uh, got it right here. I did a review on the Zingyu BM8000. This is a condenser mic that I had purchased on Amazon. And uh, I did a full review on it. I did some sound comparison tests and stuff like that. And I'll link that in, in the description below uh, if you want to check this one out. But uh, I did this review and uh, people really seem to enjoy, you know, checking out these new mics. Um, and so actually Zingyu contacted me and wanted to send me some of their other microphones so I could take a look at them and do some reviews on them. So yeah, in the interest of full disclosure, I did not pay for this microphone I'm about to review. But uh, in defense of Zingyu, they did not prompt me in any way, shape, or form to you know, skew the review. They said, just give an honest review. You know, here's the mic. Uh, give, it, give it what you want to give it. So uh, we're going to take a look at it here today. Uh, let's go ahead. We'll get this thing unboxed, and we'll get started checking it out. All right, so here we are. Um, this is the ZYUD1. This is a USB microphone. This is primarily used for uh, voiceover work, for YouTube work, and uh, anytime that you need to, uh, actually, this is actually a pretty good gaming microphone as well. Um, it's a USB mic. You can hook this directly to your computer via USB. Um, and as you see here, let's see, this is Zingyu here. Uh, they claim to be a leader in professional audio products for music recording. So this one they say is good for studio recording, podcasts, gaming, um, and a bunch of other things as well. So you guys can check that out there. Um, we're going to go ahead and unbox this thing and take a look at it. And, uh, you know, I've been kind of needing a new microphone to use for things like gaming or even like when I'm doing a voiceover for a YouTube channel or something like that. Um, and if you're in the situation where you don't want to have to buy a big old fancy mic, uh, a recording interface, you know, that takes the XLR, maybe a mic processor as well, you know, you want to be able to hook this up and use it, and you don't want anything too big or bulky or something like that. This is a perfect example. So let's take a look at this thing. Let's open it up here. I have to knock the camera over when I do this. There we go. All right, so as we can see here, we have the user manual. And we have a uh, pamphlet here. What does this have in it? Fall in love with your voice. There you go. I can open it up here. Uh, this just gives some information about the company, uh, how to contact them. Uh, they do promise they have a seven-day return, 15-day replacement policy, and then a one-year warranty as well. Um, so that's good. Here's the user manual. The user manual just basically tells everybody what, uh, what all's in here. Um, I like this using common sense. It gives you some basic information about uh, some basic questions and answers. Uh, what if there's no sound? What if there's missing parts? Uh, it does give some examples on how to set this up with uh, Windows, with Mac, and a few other things as well. So, all right, let's uh, take a look at it. This is the microphone right here. As I hit the camera, sorry. Uh, this is the microphone right here. It is pretty small and compact. You know, here's my hand against it. Let's pop it out of the case here real quick. Uh, it does come with a shock mount. It is built onto the shock mount. Uh, yeah, it looks to be removable. It's just slid on there. Yeah, you can slide it back and forth. You can see it's a rubber banded style shock mount there. Here's the connections in the back. We have our headphone jack here because this is a full sound card, so you can hook headphones directly up to this. Um, and of course, you can hear computer audio as well as audio of yourself. It does have a volume control right here. I'm assuming that is for the headphones. And if you notice here, this is a USB-C. Finally, more people using USB-C. Um, let's see, it is built directly onto this tripod. And we'll just kind of... Let's, let's cruise off there. Is that a camera mount? Whoops. Okay, so that is a standard microphone mount is what that is. So this will fit on, it looks like any standard mic stand this will fit on. So that's really cool. Like I said, it does come with a tripod for desktop usage, but if you want to, you can use a boom mic stand or uh, any other mic stand, really. It looks like that will work with. Well, that's cool. All right, we'll set that aside. We'll just set this guy up right here. Boom. Look at that. 
It's actually a pretty good looking mic, I'll be honest with you. So here we have our USB cable, about six foot long. Nice long one. You don't normally get these. This is just a standard USB type C. I don't know if I'll focus that close, but yeah, just a standard USB C. Um, what else is in the box? The, how do I get, oh there it is, this is kind of hard to see. This is the pop filter. So this looks like it slides right on top here, something like, does it go in that way? Okay, yeah, slides right in just like that. And there we have it. This is the Zingyu ZY UD1 USB microphone. All right, so let's, uh, this thing looks awesome. I really like how this thing looks. That shock mount's really nice too. You can see it kind of wiggle in there, which is what you want to see. You don't want direct contact between, you know, the desk that you're gonna accidentally bump and then the actual microphone itself, so. That is pretty cool. All right, let's get this thing hooked up to a computer and let's do some uh, sound comparisons. All right, so we got the mic back over here, hooked up to the boom. Uh, the desk mount um, is pretty small. Um, I guess that's the only real complaint I have about that. It is, is kind of short. Um, I guess that would be fine for, I guess, the majority of people. Uh, but me being 6'4", I'm a little bit taller, so sometimes it's a little bit harder to try to get uh, fit in there and stuff. I kind of to, had to lean down like that to be able to, to use it. So I just hooked mine up to a boom. As I mentioned in the previous clip, the uh, connector on the side here is a standard microphone uh, stand connector. So you can use it with any microphone stand that you want. And uh, this is what the audio sounds like. Um, I'm recording all this audio directly from this mic. Uh, there's no audio processing on this. This is just direct from the mic. So this is the kind of audio that you would hear while playing a game or while trying to do some overdubbing on YouTube or something like that. Um, I can switch back and forth. So like right here is the camera mic audio. Test one, two, you can hear the camera mic. It's a decent camera mic. It's a shotgun mic, so it's it's not bad. But then we go back over here to this mic here and you can hear this is just a drastic difference. I mean, this sounds professional quality. And for the price of $30, you can get this kind of quality audio on your YouTube videos. You can get this on your gaming sessions, uh, all kinds of stuff. So as I mentioned before, one of the big use cases of this microphone is gonna be gaming. YouTubing, streaming, and things like that. So if you've ever watched a stream where somebody's just using one of those little headset mics, um, those little headset mics are sometimes, you know, eh, not too good on the quality front. And then you compare that kind of a stream to someone who's using a professional microphone like this, or even just recording YouTube videos. A lot of people record those YouTube videos with headset mics and things like that. And the difference in professionalism from those headset mics to something like this is just huge. I mean, nobody wants to have to have crappy audio in their, their videos. It just doesn't sound as professional. So when you have something like this, you can really take your professionalism game way up. And for the cost of 30 bucks, I mean, this kind of seems like a little bit of a no-brainer. I'll let you guys judge for yourself on the audio quality. Personally, I think it's pretty good. And especially for 30 bucks. Now it's not going to be the same audio quality you get from a thousand dollar condenser mic with a, you know, $300 audio interface and things like that. It's not, it, you're not going to get that out of it. That's kind of a given, but the difference in quality from something like this to that thousand dollar mic is not gigantic. It's a lot smaller margin than you actually think. This is a really good sounding mic. And so what we can also do is I'll do this next we can add some processing to it. We can add some basic EQ, we can add a little bit of uh, dynamics processing, things like that to the signal, and especially if you're recording stuff. So obviously it's gonna sound great for a stream no matter what, but then if you're recording, you can go back in with your uh, video editor, like Premiere or whatever, and you can add some EQ, some effects to it, some compression, things like that, and you can really get this mic sounding 100% professional. Nobody's gonna know you're using a $30 mic. They're gonna think you're using a $500 to $1,000 mic whenever you're sitting there recording your YouTube videos, or streaming your games. So one of the things I will do real quick is I wanna go in and uh, I wanna hook my headphones up to this and I wanna hear how my headphones sound because like I said, this is a full-fledged audio card inside this microphone. So not only am I gonna hear myself directly through the microphone, but I'm also gonna hear any audio from my computer. So say I'm playing a game, I'm playing music or something like that, singing along with music or something like that. I'll be able to hear that directly through my headphones. So let me get that set up. All right, so now I have my headphones hooked directly to the microphone jack on the bottom of the 
headset here. Now, the, the volume control that's on the bottom of this mic is, once again, it is a gain control for the microphone itself. It is not a volume control for the headphones. It's a gain control. So, you know, gain staging is pretty important when it comes to using a microphone in any capacity. You don't want to have this thing cranked all the way up. So, like, right here is cranked all the way up. You want to kind of have this mic, you know, uh, turned down to where you minimize your background noise. You have a good amount of audio coming into the mic. And uh, cause if you have it cranked up too high, and this goes with any microphone, this is not just this one. You crank your gain too high, you're gonna get a ton of background noise, you're gonna get clipping, things like that. You don't want that. You need to set that up for your computer itself. So like right now, I'm hitting on peaks like negative two. So that's, that's really high up there. Typically I would wanna be like negative six, negative seven, something like that. Um, but I'm still kind of, I'm a little hot right now, but that's okay. Uh, for the sake of this video, it'll be fine. But you can tell if I crank it all the way up, you'll hear that background noise, the hiss. You hear that hiss come up in the background. And that's just ambient background noise. That's just noise here in my room. Um, this mic doesn't have any noticeable noise in itself. Um, but, you know, obviously my room is going to have little noises here and there and stuff like that. So the more gain you have cranked up in this thing, you still want to make sure you get a good level under your computer. But the higher you crank the gain, uh, the more background noise you're going to kind of pick up in the process. So, but yeah, as right now I can sit here, I can play a game. I'm going to hear that game audio directly in my headphones. I don't have to have any speakers in the room or anything like that, but I also hear my voice directly through the mic itself. So I can hear what I sound like, you know, cause you always want to, one of the things that really helps when you're talking and I tend to like to talk a little bit too, when you're talking, you want to be able to hear yourself. That way you can hear how you're sounding, your inflection, things like that. You want to be able to do that. And I think that's super important. And that's a really nice feature of this microphone. All right, guys, thanks for tagging along. I appreciate you guys watching this video. Once again, this is the Zing U ZY UD1 microphone. Uh, down in the description, I'll leave a link to where you can purchase this microphone on Amazon. Uh, once again, two-day shipping. And I think it's right now the price is $29, roughly. And then I believe, as of recording this video, they have a 5% coupon that's instantly applied as well. So you can get it for cheaper than you probably think. So this is definitely one I would check out if you don't currently have a professional microphone for recording your videos, for streaming, for YouTubing, things like that. Uh, this thing is definitely one you're going to want to check out. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate it. I will see you on the next video.